In this lesson, we'll focus on the estimation of missing data. Now, for the annual precipitation at various stations, there will be cases wherein there will be missing data because of damage or faults in rain gauges during a certain period. These missing data can be estimated by using the data of the neighboring stations. But you have to first check the data for continuity and consistency before you can apply the methods we'll discuss later because this will ensure that there is a justified compatibility using the different methods. Now first, we're gonna tackle the simple arithmetic average method. Now in this method, simultaneous rainfall records of three close by stations are made use of. However, the stations should be evenly spaced around the station with missing records. And then here, a simple arithmetic average of the rainfall of the three selected stations gives the estimate of the missing value. However, we have to note here that this method should only be used when the normal annual precipitation at each of the selected stations is within 10% of the station for which the records are missing. Now what do we mean by this? Let's explore this example to give you an overview of its application. Now in this problem, we have the following data wherein the first row defines the normal or average annual precipitations while the second row shows the period wherein there is missing data at station D, this one. Now first, we need to check if the annual precipitation at each of the selected stations is within 10% of that station for which the records are missing. And so to do this, we first have to identify the normal annual precipitation that corresponds to the missing value. In this case, station D has a missing value and so the corresponding normal annual precipitation is 10.4. So we have 10.4 and so now to get the range of values that the other station should belong to, we need to multiply this value by 10% and then our range will be plus minus 10% of this value. And so multiplying this by 10%, we have 10.4 times 0.1, this is 1.04, so this is 1.04. And so our range will be from 10.4 minus 1.04 up to 10.4 plus 1.04. So this is now 10.4 minus 1.04. This gives us 9.36. So this is 9.36. And then let's change this into plus. We have 11.44. So this is 11.44. And so now our range will be from 9.36 up to 11.44. Now 9.9 .9 is between these values as well as 10.6, 11, and 10.4. And so this means that we can actually use this method. However, if there is at least one station that doesn't fall within this range, then you need to use the second method. However, since we are within this range, we will actually use this. Now take note here that PM, uh, I mean P sub M, is the annual precipitation with the missing value, or simply this entirety. And then M is the number of working stations. And then what you will consider here is the year at which there are missing values. Now for this period, we only have three working stations because one was inoperative or damaged. And so here, our M will be three working stations. And so P sub X will be obtained using this formula. P sub X corresponds to the data where there is a missing value. And so this is now 1 over M in which our working stations is 3 and then multiplied by P1 plus P2 plus P3 because we only have 3 working stations. And so this is now, uh, by the way, this row corresponds to P, P sub M. So this is now P1 plus P2 plus P3 for these stations. So we have P1 is 12.5 and then P2 is 13.4 and then P3 is 13.8. So P sub X will be, let's use our calculators. This is 1 over 3 times 12.5 plus 13.4 plus 13.8. And so this gives us 13.23. So this is now our answer. And so our missing data will be 13.23. And so this is our example of a case where we can use this method. Now for the next one, we have the normal ratio method. Now this is applied when the normal annual rainfall of any of the selected stations is more than 10% of that station with missing records. And so in here, the simple average method cannot be used. And so that's why we will now use weights and ratios to solve the missing value. And so this is our formula. Uh, essentially, we are taking the ratio of the missing value to the known value, which is the normal or average annual precipitation. Uh, that's why this is N, because it stands for normal annual precipitation. And then we have 1 over M. Our M is still the number of working stations. And then PN corresponds to 
the row wherein we have missing values while n sub n corresponds to the data with the normal annual precipitation. And so let's try to solve this problem. The normal annual rainfall at stations A, B, C, and D in a basin are 80.97, 67.59, 76.28, and 92.01 centimeters respectively. However, in the year 1975, the station D was inoperative and the stations A, B, and C recorded the following annual precipitations, 91.11, 72.23, 79.89, and then station D was defective that year. So we need to estimate the rainfall at station D in 1975. And so first, we need to write down our data. We have station A, B, C, and D, and that the normal annual rainfall at these stations, let's say N sub N, are these values. So we have 80.97 for A. Now let's just move this. For B, we have 67.59. And then for C, we have 76.28. And for D, we have 92.01. And then in 1975, we have 91.11, 72.23, 79.89. However, station D was inoperative, so we have a missing value here. So first, we need to identify our range. Now since this value corresponds to the missing value, this will define our range. So we have 92.01, let's multiply this by 10%, this is uh, approximately 9.2. And so our range will be, now again, 92.01 times 0.10, we have 9.201. And so 92.01 minus 9.2, this is 82.81, so we have 82.81 up to, let's make this plus, this is 101.21. And so clearly, the data for B, A, and C do not fall within the range. And so this means that we can't use the simple arithmetic method. So we will now use this formula. And so now, to solve Px, we will divide this by an x, or the normal annual precipitation that corresponds to the missing value. So this is uh, 92.01. This is essentially our ratio. And so this is equal to 1 over m, in which our m is since we only have three working stations, this is three. So one over three multiplied by the summation of P sub N over N sub N. So we have for the first one, this is 91.11 divided by 80.97 and then plus 72.23 over 67.59. And then plus for the last one, we have 79.89 divided by 76.28. And so solving PX, we have 92.01 times one third and then multiplied by 91.11 over 80.97 plus 72.23 over 67.59 and then plus 79.89 over 76.28 and so this gives us 99.407 and so p sub x is equal to 99.407 and then our unit is cm because this is measured in cm. And so this is how you are going to tackle these problems.